Hi guys, this is an introduction into the new stock management feature within Garage Hive. You'll find a new button under purchasing from the homepage called requisition worksheets. So I'm going to quickly show you where on an item card that you set the stock capacities, uh, stock requirements um, of a particular item, and then how you use this requisition worksheet to maintain your stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new item. So we'll call this part number, uh, call the part number example. And we'll put the description as example part. And you'll see here as well that the item card has been simplified. So we've removed a lot of the stuff that you don't need. It's still accessible under here, but these are a lot of features that just aren't necessary to most of our customers. So the policy that 99% um, of you guys be working what from is a policy called maximum quantity. And you simply set the reorder point. So I'm going to say that I want to keep at any one point at least 10 of the example part numbers in stock. So that is it. <clears throat> All I do is set a reorder point. I can set a maximum inventory if I want to, uh, but it's not necessary. So from here, I go back to the home page. I go purchasing requisition worksheet. You can have several set up at the same time, but most of you will just work from the default one. I'll just delete this because we'll start again. <clears throat> so at this point, we go process, calculate plan, press OK. And this is going to give you a list of the parts that you should um, actually reorder. And you'll notice that when I highlight, uh, so this, the system's telling me that I need to order seven of these and 10 of these. Now, if I select this part number on the right hand side, you'll see, look, that the reorder point is five. So why is it suggesting that I order seven? Well, it knows that we've got four already on job sheets and we've actually already got two of these on purchase order. So it's very simply um, just a calculation of what you require, what you've already got on a job sheet <clears throat> and what you've already got in order. And then it's figured out that actually we need to order seven more of these. And likewise, this item down here, you see the reorder point is 10. Well, we've got none in stock, none on order, and none on job sheets. If I want to, I can access the item card from the menu up here. If I want to actually modify what I want to order, I can do. <clears throat> if I'm happy with what I want, in fact, I'm just going to add this part number to a job sheet, just so you can get an idea of how this reacts. So I'm just going to open up any job sheet. I'm going to add one of this part number to here. If I go back to the requisition worksheet and run this plan again, you can see that this is increased to 11 now because even though the order points 10, it knows that we've actually got one of these reserved on the job sheet. So from this point, all I do is select a supplier and your list of suppliers will be available from here. And we're going to order both of these parts from the same supplier. If I now select calculate plan, uh, sorry, uh, process lines, it's going to produce, so it's cleared those off. It's produced a purchase order for the supplier. And more importantly, if we go back to purchasing purchase orders, We can see that both these parts and the right quantity are available or are ready to receive into stock when the customer uh, when the vendor sends their invoice down so that is requisition worksheet it's a combination of it's not just a report to tell you to order something it will actually help you in actually ordering it it considers uh, currently used stock um, available stock and stock on order as well so it is quite clever this is version one of this uh, module we've got lots of um, plans on how to improve this um, would really like to get a lot of you using it um, get your feedback sent to us uh, I'm sure we can make this a fantastic feature so I really look forward to your feedback